What's going on, y'all? It's Conscious One coming at you. I uh, just want to say a few random things before I head out tonight. First of all, Friday nights is getting really, really crazy here in New York. Um, it's like, and it was a full moon today, and I walk outside, I see it's a full moon. I'm like, uh-oh, it's going to be some chaos. As soon as I finish the sentence with a period, some incident happened. When, I don't know, it looked, it looked like some girl, it looked like a dude approached the car, approached some car, the car stopped. It was a female driving, and next thing I know, the car sped off and then hollered out the window was when it stopped about 30 feet from where the person had approached the vehicle. It was a girl that approached the vehicle, but she's like a dude. Talk like a girl, though. She said, what, she said, what the F you doing? And uh, this thing, whatever it was, continued to say, F, you know, F you. Threw a bottle. The bottle glass cracked. And it seemed like the driver didn't know why this person or this thing had approached his, his car window like that. And then threw a body. And then this thing said, suck, suck my D, B. But it was a female. It looked like a dude, though. And the only thing I get out of the incident was some random person approached her car. I don't know if she, it seemed like she didn't know the person. But it was just tripped out. As soon as I walk out, look up, see a full moon. Action. It's like lights, camera, action, guys. As soon as I come outside. And then Friday nights, New York is at, I mean, it's getting crazy. I, you know, I try to come out late too. Like on Fridays, I don't come out until like, it gets like 10, 11 o'clock. Still couldn't avoid, avoid the drama. It's getting real dangerous, folks, in these cities. I better find a way out of these cities if y'all in these cities. I'm telling y'all, it's going to be, I bet you it's going to be something else this summer. It's going to be something else this summer. I'm talking about LA, Chicago, New York, number chaos. But yeah, I want to talk about, a few random things. First of all, y'all probably see in my videos how I got this radar detector. Um, now, I don't remember the name of what this radar detector is, but if you go on Amazon and type in radar detector, I just want to let y'all know that uh, you know it's the cheap one. It's the it's the fifty dollar radar detector. See. Now, I just want to tell y'all, don't sleep on getting you a radar detector. And when you go look look for one on Amazon or whatever. Don't sleep on the one out that's only fifty dollars. You'll see which one I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? This thing works good. It starts going off when a cop is a mile away, mile behind me, mile on the side of me, wherever. It also lets me know about you know street light, street radar, street you know uh, radars that be on the streets and the street poles and stuff like that. It's a really good radar. So you know you go on these sites and you see how they be trying to charge two hundred dollars now for radars and. Mm -mm. That's a gimmick. You don't have to pay all that money. All you need is a little $50 radar. You'll see it when you go on Amazon. It works really well. I seen a cop a few weeks ago. He was disguised as a yellow taxi driver. That was the first time I ever seen some shit like that. But my radar detector picked him up too. You see what I'm saying? Now, I'm about to get me a dash cam by Vantru. Y'all want to get down with a Vantru dash cam, the N4 model. This thing, it shows you in the cabin. It's a three-channel camera shows you in the cabin it shows both of the sides of your car it shows the rear of your car and it shows the front of your car now recently i had a cop uh, stop me tell me that i ran a stop sign when i didn't when she couldn't even see whether i ran a stop sign or not because it was a blind spot but no big deal there i'm just gonna go to the hearing most likely he's gonna get thrown out because some bs but what that did was teach me a lesson that i really need a dash cam because next time a cop try to come out of nowhere or try to come up behind me just to try to say some dumb shit, I'll have everything recorded. And that's a, that's a one, another reason why I don't want to get tent on my uh, on my car, because I I want I want people to actually see through my window this time. If a cop is behind me, I want them to see that I'm recording them on my dash cam because they're gonna look through my back window and all they're gonna see is they police car on a on that big ass screen. And the last thing they want to do is is mess with some uh, smart aleck negro. That's the last thing they want to do, because these cops, whatever these things are, they are definitely afraid of getting sued and stuff like that even for minor traffic violations and stuff like this so you want to get that van true in for uh three channel dash cam and uh i'm telling you you want to get that you want to get that thing hardwired to your vehicle so whenever you turn it on boom it comes right on you don't have to worry about it it's always recording that's what you want get that get that thing hardwired to your vehicle so i'm about to get down with that in a couple of weeks and so, you know, everything, like I say, everything happens for a reason. And, uh, yeah, that's why I'm, I'm getting that dash cam. So then I'm going to be having a dash cam and then this radar detector because I, I spent a lot of time driving. So, you know, I got to get serious about, you know, how I do my business and how, how I'm rolling and stuff like that. 
it's no joke out here, folks. You can get all kind of entrapment going on right now. I feel like they're trying to entrap me in New York. They're trying to uh, get me on some BS. They're trying to get me to uh, get somebody a ride for some money. But all that's going to happen is that person will get in my car and there'll be a police officer waiting for me, wherever their destination is. When they get out, then they'll handcuff me and throw me in jail for pretending to be an Uber or Lyft driver. You see? All kinds of entrapment going on. I'm telling you, y'all better be very, very careful these days. All kind of entrapment. Even if somebody, if you smoke a cigarette, even if somebody, you know, tried to come up to you tomorrow, they give you 50 cents for a cigarette, don't do it. You just give it to them. Do not take no money. If you give them a cigarette, don't take the money. If you decide to, or better, or better yet, just lie to them and say you don't have any. Because it's all type of traps these devils are trying to set up for uh, people, especially people of color, especially black males. They trying to blackmail black males. So you black males better look out because they trying to blackmail you. Uh, other than that, you know, I was, I did a video the other day. Well, yesterday it was talking about, you know, how Martin Luther King, you know, Don King associated with number 3883, you know, uh, in Jamaica, that means killing. And I was just thinking to myself, I was like, yeah, Martin Luther King was 38 years old when he allegedly died, right? And then I was thinking about when I was telling y'all about how M is 13, B is 13. I forgot to add the W. Yeah, W is 13 too. So what does that say? BMW. So then I said, mm, BMW, 13, 13, 30. But then I counted up the letter. I said, okay, B is 2, M is 13, and W is 23. And that added up to 38. Now, I didn't get this. I didn't get this from no video, guys. It's just me just, just thinking about things. And I said, mm, BMW equals 38. I said, maybe that's perhaps why they have to use a BMW in the alleged Tupac killing. Get it? Then I see a thing on um, on Google today. It was talking about some Tesla was traveling at 83 miles per hour, and, and it got stuck. Like it, something that couldn't move or something, or it couldn't stop. And I'm like, that's that. They got a number again for killing. So now they're talking about they're going to be killing people in these Teslas. And maybe when they come out with these robot cars, they're going to be killing people that way. You know what I'm saying? 38, 83. You want to watch out for those numbers. Again, you want to see that movie I call Exit 38 with Josie Harris, uh, former wife uh, or wife of uh, Floyd Mayweather, who allegedly got killed, uh, found a drug overdose in her car. See, exit 38. 38 has to do with murders, killings, or alleged killings and murders. So, yeah, uh, BMW equals 38. So, I, you know, that's why I don't like people who drive BMWs or Mercedes. But anyway, and BMWs, too, they're always on a tow truck. You know what I'm saying? So, them things, who knows? They, they German automobiles, so, you know, who who knows what's coming out of Germany. But they, they don't make no good cars, that's for sure. It's just for show. And pretend like you got, you know, a lot of money. But anyway, y'all, I just want to say a few things about that and, um, uh, Y'all take care, all right? Peace.